I got involved in philanthropy and community work really through the example set by my parents. My father was very, very active in the community. Uh, I remember him running off many nights to go to meetings and even on the weekends. And so he was uh, very well known and very well respected. But my mother also was involved in the community and both of them set the example that it's expected, it's important. And so when I was quite young, actually, I started to get involved in youth organizations and it just sort of continued from there. Andy is, is someone who's known on our board of directors as being a thoughtful, dedicated, member who is committed to social justice. He is an unwavering advocate for justice. He's an activist through and through. He is a tireless champion for human and civil rights, for social and economic justice, for equity of opportunity, and he really, really recognizes the need to give a voice to the most marginalized and disenfranchised members of our community, and he's tireless in doing it. Dedicated to the cause of justice. You know, I call him a champion for justice in our state. Andy has been a huge part of our civil rights restoration workshops, giving people a second chance after they have been incarcerated to have their rights restored so that they can vote and so that they can fully take part as a member of the community. That is such important work and Andy led his law students to do that and has been a part of that every year for decades. Uh, not only has he been associated with uh, Southern Arizona Legal Aid for more than 30 years, he, other, he supports other nonprofits in our communities. When I think of Andy, I think of generosity. I think of thoughtfulness. I think of dedication. He brings forward a sense of commitment. We were thrilled, we were delighted because we know firsthand how hard Andy works for this community and to make sure that all members of our community are represented and have real opportunities and solid foundations for the future. When I become a board member or on a committee, I like to get involved. It's not to me just going to a meeting and offering a viewpoint, you know, going home and that's it. I really try to get involved and put myself out there as, as much as uh, possible. When I first uh, found out that the Association of Fundraising Professionals was going to recognize me, not only was it a wonderful surprise, but I couldn't think of a better group of people uh, to have recognized the work that I have done in the community. I've been in Tucson for many years. Uh, I've taught at the law school for many years, so I have a lot of friends and know a lot of people. And I, sometimes I think they hate to hear from me. Uh, you know, I, I have had the situation where I've called and I said, okay, we know why you're calling. But, you know, I think when you approach people, people generally do want to do what they can. Mm -hmm.